Hi folks, welcome into another Champion Sports Radio video blog. I'm Thomas Lee, along with Ryan Mueller as always. Exciting Week 9 has brought us on the brink of the playoffs. Still one important week left. Ryan, what was the biggest thing that happened from Week 9 for you? I got a look at the Wiley Pirates. Their big victory over Plano West. I mean, Coach Howard, that squad, the entire school was hungry for a win, a win in district, and they were able to get their first district win in 8-5-A play taking on the Plano West Wolves, that high-octane offense for Coach Hughes. It sputtered a little bit in the second half, and the Pirates finally jumped out, got that great start, and then rode it all the way to a great finish. What we've been expecting from the Pirates all season long, I mean, heck, they were in the championship game against Katy last year, the 5A Division II tournament. For me, I'm going to stay in District 8 5A. The Jesuit Rangers, fighting for their playoff lives, go into overtime against the Boyd Broncos, and they get the victory. And that sets up a very important game coming up in Week 10. So let's just jump right into what happens in Week 10. Obviously, the biggest thing that you've got, Ryan, of all the games going on as far as ramifications statewide has to be Plano playing at Jesuit. Yes, it is. The Plano Wildcats, if they garner a victory this week, it's going to set up, well, biggest possibility in Round 2 of the playoffs. If Plano wins, that means Allen is going to drop down to Division 2, and that could possibly set up a second round matchup between the Allen Eagles and the Carroll Dragons. Wherever that game is played, you know that that stadium is going to be filled to capacity. What a great matchup to think about. It can even go a step forward. If somehow this week Nimitz, and, and hey, they're right now they've only got one loss in District 7 5A competition. If they go to Longhorn Stadium and they beat Cedar Hill and Plano beats Jesuits, your first round matchup, the Cedar Hill Longhorns taking on the Allen Eagles. Wow. Uh, some of the other things that are going to happen, some of the other things that uh, games that are impactful for playoffs, 6-5-A is flat out a mess. Um, if Flower Mound wins at Coppell, they get a playoff spot, and they're going to be in. Coppell and Carroll are both already in. After that, you know that would set up a play-in game between the Marcus Marauders and the Hebron Hawks. But if Coppell beats Flower Mound and Hebron beats Marcus, through all the tie-breaking scenarios and the point differentials and so forth, Flower Mound could find themselves on the outside looking in with Hebron and Marcus both getting in because of point differentials. It's just going to be a crazy and wild Week 10 on Champion Sports Radio. And all these games we talked about, Plano with Jesuit, that's on KVCE, AM 1160, The Voice of Texas, and on ChampionSportsRadio.com. All the other games we have... On the internet coming up this Friday night, Cedar Hill Nimitz, that game's on Champion Sports Radio. Hebron Marcus, that game's on Champion Sports Radio. Uh, Flower Mound Coppell, oh yeah, that game's on Champion Sports Radio too. So if you want to know what's going on in the Metroplex, you want to listen to these games, or even go back and revisit the archives and find out what happens, there's no better place than Champion Sports Radio. For Ryan Mueller, I'm Thomas Lee. We'll see you next week. We're going into the playoffs. Buckle your seatbelt, folks. It's going to be a wild ride.